Hello and uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to my another playlist and in this playlist I'm going to talk about Nest.js which is becoming very much popular these days. I have already covered one webinar on Nest.js where we talk about the benefits of using Nest.js and why should we migrate to Nest.js if you are just writing the simple express application without TypeScript then it's the right time to shift to a Nest.js which is full featured framework has a pluggable has a pluggable capabilities to the type ORMs or SQLize or Mongoose modules and all these things. So first of all, we will try to see what all benefits this Nest.js will give us. It's a, it's nothing but it's a framework on top of Express and it is giving a proper structure to the APIs. So till now or till today, we are just writing Express with uh, with or without TypeScript and uh, we are writing the interceptors, we are writing the middlewares, all these things are separately, right? But what if we give this the whole structure, the angular style, in the angular what we do, we create a modules, then we create a parent module, child modules, we create a pipe, interceptors, services, components and all these things. So same way, so Nest.js is driven by this angular style. It has all the things which we see in angular. So we are talking about that if you are familiar with angular then nest.js will look like familiar to you okay here also you are creating the modules here you are creating the services injecting the services into the controllers all these things so get ready in this playlist i'm going to cover the end to end nest.js nest.js with the mongoose module mongoose module is about how we can interact with the database Mo mongodb schemas and then i will also talk about uh, Node.js, I mean Nest.js with MySQL with TypeORM where we will be talking about how you can manage the different entities, different relationship. Parallelly, I am covering another playlist which is about TypeORM with the TypeScript and Node.js. So you can also get a benefit from there by learning how to define the relationship, how you can just insert, update, delete and fetch the data from the multiple tables multiple MySQL tables. In this sessions and in this playlist, we will talk about all different features of Nest.js and we will see how we can integrate Nest.js with the Mongoose, with the Redis, with the different microservices or how we can create a microservice kind of architecture with the Nest.js uh, applications. Okay, uh, how like Nest.js supports WebSockets, Nest.js support a GraphQL, Nest.js support microservice, all these things. Okay, so my the whole objective of this playlist is to first talk about nest.js with the mongoose mongoose is nothing but a module which talks to the mongodb database first we will cover that then we will move to a mysql and type orm and we will re, uh, implement the same apis with the mysql and we will expose them using swagger apis so swagger is inbuilt module with the, the nest.js so what i mean to say is nest.js is making your job easier Till today, we are using this Swagger UI Express as an external module and trying to just patching. But now just using annotations, you can just generate the Swagger documentation, which I think a very useful feature. Then we have a lot of Nest.js CRUD. Uh, Nest.js CRUD operation is there where you can just create a CRUD operation for an independent entity. Nest.js is providing a good pluggability with the Mongoose modules and this type RM modules. So it is very easy to uh, work with uh, the MongoDB database and uh, or MySQL database or any other RDS. Okay, so that's a whole lot of description we will be covering in individual videos. First, we will talk about what is Nest.js and why, why it is popular. So in Nest.js, we are creating controllers, we are creating the modules, we are creating the guards, okay? So you might uh, be familiar, if you are familiar with Angular, then you might be able to correlate a little bit that in Angular also we are creating the modules, we are creating the services, providers, pipes, interceptors, filters and all these things. Same concepts applies to the Nest.js. So Nest.js uh, modular structure is driven from Angular and it looks like you, you can write a full stack application by just looking at the Angular and Nest.js. It is not giving you a, a separate learning curve. You will feel, okay, I'm writing the Angular code. You will get a feeling of like that. Okay, you will be writing the middlewares, pipes and database. 
so allowing you to easily integrate with the SQL and NoSQL database pipes uh, a class annotated with the injectable decorators middleware is a function which is called before the route handlers so in middleware like you wanted to do something before a request is processed to buy a particular route okay you can we have a CLI tool so if you wanted to get started the basic thing is next new project this okay so CLIs will give you just a baseline project then the learning starts and NSDS has a good documentation but there are few things how to write a custom module how to use these uh, NSDS modules which are already there which are already published like Redis module, Mongoose modules, this type ORM module and all these things okay so Angular I will not be covering but uh, Angular is a TypeScript based open source web framework we have already have in Angular we create component module guards pipes uh, and all these things now we are doing the same thing with the NSGS and what is the benefit of the NSGS is if you wanted to write the GraphQL APIs okay let's use the GraphQL NSGS if you want to write the WebSocket and you wanted to you you want your server to act as a WebSocket server you do this you can also use a uh, NSGS microservices if you want uh, some kind of a communication happening on the TCP okay so building blocks a lot I mean uh, NSGS now evolving a lot of new modules are coming but you can use the Swagger, Type RM, Passport, uh, JWT and Mongoose these are pluggable modules available for the NSGS okay so in NSGS what is the advantage we are getting is you, you can use the RxJS the core feature of RxJS and it's built TypeScript so you don't need to look at the express with the TypeScript just go ahead with the NSGS it will uh, it will enable the TypeScript because you will be writing the TypeScript code only and you are writing the modules con uh, these controllers services and all these are the classes with the annotations like annotation injectable annotation pipe annotation uh, controller with the different routes so in your application you will be able to create a separate separate modules okay like product module like uh, user module auth module shared module core modules in angular we used we use these terms to just create a different different modules where shared module and shared services can be plugged there and shared services can be used among all the other services so let's get started uh, without waiting too much and uh, in this video we are going to cover each and everything i will say each and everything means so follow along with this playlist i have also added the playlist link in the description so you don't start in between because the content will be linked with the previous video so start with the video zero first video till the end thanks everyone